breaking that pain cycle. Um, this is an issue I see all the time with a lot of my clients. Uh, I deal with a lot of post rehab or a lot of people who are in pain, uh, but it's not a diagnosed pain. You know, it might be a tendonitis or something like that, but no one's really dug deep enough to figure out why that actually occurred. Um, I think some people, uh, when they've dealt with pain long enough, uh, it starts to become complacent with it. It almost starts to become a second nature aspect. They're, it's just something they're used to. It's something they've dealt with. I think when you start to deal with it long enough, because I see this all the time, um, you really start struggling to actually make the changes even once you've found a, a correction, a way to get out of that pain. Um, you know, I see people all the time where I'm like, if you go to, you know, Dr. A or therapist B, you know, it's going to be beneficial. It's going to help get you out of that pain. And then you try to follow up with them. Oh, I'm too busy to do that. I was too busy. I did this. I did that. That, that starts to become an issue. Uh, we've literally come up with a way for you to get out of pain. But I think, I think you, the people in general, myself included, I struggle with this a little bit too, is it's, it's an acceptance issue. You've accepted that you're going to be in pain and now that getting out of pain is almost a feared aspect. You've been in pain for so long, I think it's almost, we've almost forgotten what it's like to be out of pain, that we're a little nervous to go any further. Um, it's a strange concept. Um, you know, getting out of pain is something that we want, but as soon as there's that uh, light at the end of the tunnel, if you will, um, we hit that roadblock. Um, there's definitely a huge mental component to it, but how exactly do we break through that mental component in order to get out of pain and break that cycle? Um, acceptance really isn't that issue, is, is the issue. Uh, we need to break through that acceptance, because that acceptance is um, almost a cop out. We've we've given up. We've lost hope. Um, and once hope's been represented, we almost don't know how to handle. Um, we almost don't know how to handle it. Um, we're so used to just being able to use. Oh, I can't do this because of injury X, or I can't do this because of injury X. We we've always had that little bit of hold uh, in order to keep us out of certain situations that we may not want to be a part of. Um, I don't know, I guess we have to break that, we have to break down the barrier um, and really just accept that, you know, we might actually be able to get out of pain free, but it also could be the fact that numerous times we've been promised that aspect and someone's fallen short. So you don't want to take that next step forward because it might just be another disappointment and mentally that might set you back even further. So you sort of get to a crossroads. Do you take the chance or do you um, not take the chance? Don't follow up with, you know, therapist B or Dr. A, you know, that's where we got to start to really think about and really um, make those steps forward um, in order to get to that next portion of our life um yeah let me know what you think um just a quick little rant bye